In this video, we will see about the measurement of bending velocity. So, but here I will discuss about what is thermal energy and how it will be react in automotive engines. So, first we comparing about the this instrument to these thermal engineering equipment. So, the principle of thermal engineering is the chemical energy is converted into mechanical energy and that mechanical energy is finally converted into electrical energy. So, in any automotive sector, in any in industry or in any engine, that will be follow or that will be a bit, uh, for example, we comparing with this and the engine, that will be surely obey the two laws of uh, thermodynamics. And the first one is in a class A statement and another one is in a Kelvin blank statement. So, is the uh, class A statement says that there is a no external source without an engine. So, comparing with the engine, uh, the source only is an input and the source 2 is an heat reservoir system and in between the heat engine is operating. And the Kelvin plan statement is, is there is a hundred percent of input. Wait, wait, wait. It's an uh, Kelvin plan statement it states about that hundred percent of input is not equal to the hundred percent of output of the engine. So here it will be the burning velocity. So the component of the burning velocity is indicated. This is an air flow section, inset and outer section. In this is air conditioning section. And here it will be the base control volume section. And this is an gate control volume. So in this, we will monitor or we will.